Hey guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today in front of me I have two Ford F-150 engine control modules. In this video I will show you how the cloning process works, grabbing the key information from this guy, VIN number, all the tuned information and programming into this new one. Or actually vice versa, this is the original one, this guy is the new guy. Uh, we're replacing this ECU because the original ECU, the wiring harness had a little fun and impact and wiring harness shorted out and shorted out the computer. So grabbing info from the original one, putting in the new one, part numbers over here, they are identical. As you can see right here, there's the new guy right here, ALA. Here's the original ALA. So I'll show you how I'm going to read it from the original. I'll be using the hex tag like this because they have an easy button of clone. Just read and write. I mean, Abritas also has an option of reading the ECUs and cloning them, but. For this particular 2019 Ford F-150 MG1CS018 ECU, they don't have that option. So we'll be using Hextag. I will go to my Hextag programmer. As you can see, I already have it opened up. That way it speeds up the process. We'll just go to ECU Ford Bosch MG1CS018. Uh, it's a little more complicated and figure out which ECU it is. Um, K tag is a little easier because they got make, model, and then obviously the ECUs, the engine type and stuff like that. So hex tag, a little complicated, but at least they got it under Ford and Bosch. Abritas is much more complicated. Now, as you can see, we got stop, right, backup, restore. So we're going to be using these. You can do it individually by P flash and D flash, read or write. You click on the wiring and it will give you the connection how to connect to it so as you can see i got the connections right here we're just going to be using the very last plug ecu plug here's pin pin 76 there's power so my power and grounds are on this side so i'll just get two powers and one ground what I'm going to do is just locate the pin and do it as it shows over there. Here is my red power supply, very corner over here. Make sure I have a good connection. Now we're going to grab the ground, other side of the plug other corner we're gonna get another red which is pin number three from the right it's pin number 13 so right here make sure it's in good in good in good and yellow from here from this side and orange so I'll just grab the orange first, connect it next to the red one, make sure I have good connection, and yellow right beneath it. Make sure you have very good connections all the time and proper connection, that way you don't short out your ECU. In this case, in this case, we got a good connection. I'll go back to my laptop, we'll go back to my program, and I will click backup. And it will read the P flash and D flash. Read the VIN number, key information. Now, if you have your original ECU tuned, it will actually swap all the information from the original one to the new one. Also, this is how they read the tune info. If you want to tune it, you read the original one and then have the software tune it for you. Or you can send out your file to tune it and then just write it. So, really good option with this programmer let it read all the way now 
If you need the service done, actually I'll leave the link below the video and after the video. You can get it done at Carmen Auto with a K, K-R-M-A-N, CarmenAuto.com. And all the prices, everything's there so you can find it. We don't do just Ford, Mercedes, and BMW. We do pretty much all makes and models, ECU cloning. You can do the ammo delete on some ECUs if you're having a hard time starting the car. We can do tuning files loaded up. So there's a lot of options you can do with some of these ECUs. Now it's 53%, 54%. P-Flash is a little bit slower to read, but D-Flash is pretty quick. So let's just read the original one and I will save it. Now Abritas, I looked in Abritas diagrams. They don't have the diagram to connect to this guy. And obviously they don't even have an option to read this MG1CSO18 ECU. So F4, F150 ECU, no options. Kind of disappointing. All right, now we're reading D flash, which is a little quicker. Good, so back up Ford, I'll just put Ford F-150 original. I mean, back up Ford <clears throat> kind of explains it, but I just like to put it in there. That way I know how to find it. All right, I will unplug this ECU, the original ECU, to get it out of the way. And we're gonna do it on the new one. Same process, so I'll just get my reds and my grounds ready let me go back to my diagram right here so we got a red here a red here I'll just do in this sequence orange here yellow here all right so we got that we need one more black right here okay just double checking good connection got all my five wires connected and in the correct spot also i will back up the new ECU just in case sometimes customers we had an issue so that's why we back up every single computer we read they would actually make a mistake and write on the original computer new and on the new computer original and then when you lose all the files really complicated to start the car now if you just get the CCU and want to have a locksmith program keys a lot of times you can on the newer ones a little bit hard, hard, harder and then to do the bin change because obviously you won't pass the state emissions you will need to reflash sometimes the dealer can do it on the used dcu sometimes they can't so that's why it makes it a little bit complicated just doing it by programming the keys separately doing the bin ecu reflash and of course, if you had a tune file, not an, uh, not an option to do that way. So that's why I like doing it all three at once. Keys, bin, ammo, and of course, tune if you have a tune. So it's reading it. It's at 56%. <clears throat> Now writing will take a little bit longer as just because it will it re writes it and then it tries to verify each file each byte so it's a little bit longer but 
Let's get this thing to read and we'll get it to write. Now, while also what we noticed, what I noticed on these 40 CUs, like Ford Escape, they would put this ECU right at the left front of the bumper, right, right beneath the bumper where the wheel is. Any small impact literally hits the ECU, either shorts out the wiring or breaks the ECU. Very common issue on those. And we've seen actually, it's starting to see a lot of these 40 CUs, they're very sensitive. Just makes it really, really, really sensitive. So anytime you get an impact, shorts out the ECU. All right, back up. I'll just put Ford F-150, new backup. All right, now we're gonna write. So we're gonna go to restore Ford F-150, original. That's from our original ECU. So obviously we chose the correct ECU file and we're gonna try to write it in to the new ECU. It's gonna try to communicate with the ECU and writing. Now, why it's writing this particular file for the Ford much quicker than usual because it compares the original file that we just read and the new file. The original actually from my ECU and uh, original from this new ECU and it's only changing the bytes or the file location where it's different, which is if you had a tune, that's the location is gonna change it in. If you had VIN number, it's just gonna change that location. And if you have the key information, it's just gonna write that particular spot in the memory. So at least the writing takes a little bit quicker than that. All right, almost done. Now, like I said, if you need it done, link below or at the end of the video. If you like the video, it helped you out, give it a thumbs up, share the video, like the video. Otherwise, we'll be testing this guy in the car and... All right, completed, done. That's how the clone service is done. Pretty simple with the right tools. I'll disconnect it, remove it, and we're just gonna install in the car and start the car.